Hey, what's up, YouTube Digital Soul here? Psh, and I just wanted to speak at you guys for a moment. I don't know how many people that I've seen talk about Capcom and the state of the company in whole as it is. Um, right now, they're struggling, to, to my knowledge. If somebody has any other news on Capcom, please let me know down below because I would... Come on. Come on. I would love to, you know, read up on it some more and see what's going on. But, you know, I mean, it, it was just kind of scary for a while there, you know. I mean, like, I was looking forward to Azor's Wrath a little while ago, and, and that game kind of sucked. And, you know, I've always been a fan of Capcom and what they've delivered. And lately it's been rough, man. And with Resident Evil 5... Wasn't really a big fan of that game. Resident Evil 6 did not like that game. If they would have titled it something else, when, see, when I play a Resident Evil game, I want survival horror. I know the game's got to evolve and do this and that, but, you know, it just wasn't what I wanted. You know, Resident Evil 4 was really good. You know, in Rev Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS and the ports, it played better on the handheld, in my opinion, than it did on the systems and the PC, but it is what it is. Well, now they're releasing, here, let me put it over here for you so you can get a look at it. If you don't know, there's a Resident Evil Revelations 2. They leaked some box art and uh, some other images, and it's not quite stated on what system it's going to be for but supposedly Xbox One and if it's coming to the Xbox One I would probably more than likely say it will be on PC handheld Nintendo PlayStation you know what I mean but this is all just me assuming but you know I mean it, it, you know teasers are always wonderful the last thing I want from Capcom is another Street Fighter game. I, I don't mind if you take Street Fighter and elevate it and make it something better. And Capcom has always been known for their fighters and delivering really awesome fighting games. But I don't need... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a street sweeper outside. I appreciate you sweeping the street. Appreciate it. But, um... Not like with a broom, he's, you know. But, you know, I mean, they keep, like, here's Third Strike again and Street Fighter Hyper Turbo Super Duper. And we're going to take this game and this game and package it for you again and serve it to you again and expect you to pay for it again. And I think that's been one of Capcom's biggest problems is they keep just re-kind of doctoring an old product and trying to sell it to us again and again and again and again and I, I just get tired of that man if you want to come at me with a brand new Resident Evil that's super flavorful and gives us what it was in the beginning survival horror man not don't give me a tank and let me go run over zombies that that would be cool that would be cool but that should be a different title. That shouldn't be Resident Evil, man. What are your guys' thoughts on Capcom and the Resident Evil franchise? I mean, there are, you know, possibilities of a Resident Evil 7 coming somewhere down the line. Maybe they're going to wait and see what Revelations 2 does before they actually, like, start rolling that ball. But for now, this is Digital Soul. Just curious on what you guys think. And I hope to hear from you soon. All right? Peace. Psh.